Hello everyone, welcome back to Outer Space in Minecraft Stone Block 2. Done another one of those off-camera big thingies where we like to uh, do as much as we can in sort of a three-hour recording session, which I call Zen Minecraft, which I have finally figured out, although it's going to be a while before this gets released, why the Zen Minecraft episodes don't have any game sound and therefore no sound at all. It's because of the way Steam works when it's streaming and I finally figured out how to get OBS. Well, it was very easy. I just had to figure out that I needed to get OBS to record a different source of sound. So um, what I've been doing is I've moved up. See how some of these are empty now? In fact, you should be locked. You've done it again, haven't you? Look. No, 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 no. no it's okay. uh, I emptied a lot of these out because they were duplicates of things we had elsewhere. This one is in that vein, except I can't be bothered carrying 263 things down to the other one. So we can do that again at some other point. Uh, Again, with this. This is very frustrating. I don't know why this happens. I'm pretty sure it's simply just Ender I.O. being weird. What if we, um... What if we... I'll, I'll move this around whilst we talk. Uh, I've done a few things, not just that. And I was very glad in, I think, previous episode, recently, that we have all of our stuff in uh, the stacks, as well as... You know these uh these chests for storage because we ran out of power once or twice and when we run out of power or one one runs out of power um everything turns off which is pretty obvious <laughs> that's how it works so, yeah exactly the kind of point of power um when we run out of power and everything's in boxes we can still get to it the only thing that we lose is the ability to auto craft particularly easily um while, you know, if, if we had everything in uh, digital storage, we wouldn't be able to use it at all because we wouldn't be able to get to it. So, uh, did I show you... Oh, look at all that. This is a thing we need to deal with because this is probably all in here. Yeah. Yeah, it's all here. Like, what do we do? We need to get rid of that. We do need to start voiding it. We can do that. Well, there is a way of doing that with export buses, which I will look at soon. Um, oh, hello, spider. There's something I want to do in here today. There's something I want to do over here today. Uh, and uh, I'm sure there's another couple more things I can think of while we do stuff. Uh, I've made this set of drawers here. This is unequal and I apologize and I know it's probably breaking everybody's brains, but this is eight long where this one is six. Six gap and six, you see that? This is eight because I'm keeping the colored mushrooms in here and it's probably not the right place for this because I, what I'm gonna do is uh, replace and then and then there we go um oh, you're just no fun <laughs> you really are no fun um i'm gonna replace this row with you pillock get this out of here i'm gonna replace that row with the petals that we get from the same place remember that there was botania which we haven't really done much with recently, but in, in one of these somewhere, there's a bunch of petals. Here we are, mystical petals. Uh, we've got some more of these as well. Uh, these should all match up. So this is... Uh, I've made these into two toofers, these drawers here. So you can get two of each. And then... You should be able to... Uh, keep these in order. I want to make sure that they go in the right place, because I'm a little bit... Uh, it just makes me sad. Uh, shim. So you'll see me do this off camera, but currently I'm doing it on camera because hi. Um, is that you? Yes. Grand. Just having them in the same order is just pleasant. And then these will be the same in, in the same order as those, so we don't have very many petals. We'll do that later. Another thing I discovered is you can put these on the ceiling. It's a crafting terminal on the ceiling in here, which I think is extremely pleasing because I was half expecting it not to work. Very happy with that. Um, this. Let's talk about this. Where's all the seeds gone? That's even worse, actually. I was going to say something completely different about this, but now I'm just worried about where the seeds have all gone. I had to light up down here a little bit. Uh, they're not in here. What I've done is... Oh, I've locked the inventory. That's what I've done. But they're in here. I own seeds. What we have to do... This is basically... This is a problem. I have put down Inferium seeds, there's Iron seeds just growing themselves, and here are Certus Quartz seeds, which is what you would have just seen before I unlocked this. I had uh, Certus Quartz seeds in the middle there to make sure they were in the right place. Problem is, this setup 
does not duplicate the seeds. Every time this cuts things down, which, by the way, uh, is producing sludge, which we can use later. Every time this cuts things down, it produces exactly one seed. Uh, when you have normal Minecraft crops, it's, there's a very strong chance that it will produce more seeds than you started with. In this case, no, you get one seed back from each thing. We need to fix that by improving the yield from seeds or just making more seeds, but I don't think that's going to be very good for us long term. Uh, let me show you that I think I created uh, Inferium turns into what now? It's Prudentium, right? Prudentium. I can craft Prudentium. And what I did to do that was simply add another interface down here. All this, by the way, this is still very temporary. I've got two interfaces here on this one molecular assembler, which means we can craft a single thing at a time, but we can then queue several. Remember how down here I put in several of these? Each one of these 1K crafting storage uh, next to the crafting CPU. So the crafting CPU, remember we decided one crafting CPU means one thing can be crafted in principle. One, th one entire job can be crafted. So if I wanted to craft this, for example, this entire one thingy would take up one CPU. And if I wanted to do something else while that was processing, I need another CPU, which is why I made four. However, there's only one of these, which means that although I can have four things craft uh, happening at once, only one of them can be an auto craft. I can probably m make three more things uh, process, or I can just enqueue them and wait until the machines are free. I'm going to need way more of these, and I'm going to need way more stuff over here because this has now got eight of eight channels. I can't put anything else over here. Now, these can be upgraded to 32 channels, but these can only carry eight. So even if I had 32 here, I can only carry eight here and eight in these. So unless I made everything out of the 32 channel cables, which is an option eventually, um, we're basically, we've made a rod for our own back somewhat by having this. You can create a multi-block structure out of these, however, and each face can have 32 channels going in and out of it. So we do have a lot of channels available to us in principle. It's just that we're not using any of them. I've also uh, reworked this. This uh, cable here actually has zero of eight channels right now because up here I have now got three of eight and that's five of eight. And anything else I basically reattach to a different place. So that one at the top is completely free. Back up here, this is a storage bus, and this is an import bus. So anything I throw into the ender chest, as you will see if you go and watch the Minecraft, it's called Custom Minecraft, the Zen Minecraft videos. Uh, that's the one that I use when I go mining and I just check everything into it. You'll notice that the white, white yellow one has gone. I've removed the ender IO cable that would export everything into here. Problem is, in order to export everything into here, we're going to need another channel in this section. And these two, and the storage bus attached to the stacks, all of this is our eight on this side. So these two are eight. This is eight over here. These two plus all that is another eight. We need a massive reorganization of our ME system, but to do that, we need a lot more uh, resources in general and that is why we're over here doing this now let's uh jump to the greenhouse let's not walk because walking is for chumps uh, here we are right so we'll work on this in a minute the other thing i worked out off camera in my test world is that these can be harvested by one of those without faffing around if you recall uh we had to do all this shenaniganery down here because we needed to replant everything every time this broke everything because it's heavy-handed and mean whereas in this situation the exact same one will simply pick the ender pearls so i think we'll start with that so let me do that crafting off camera and we'll come back with the bits that i need and try and set that up over there without ruining any of our existing setup so i'll be a a did this wrong i'll be back in a tick okay so here's this this is the space we probably could, ow, we could fill it with these ender pearls. I did, one thing I learned whilst I was messing around in my test world was, again, go check out the Zen Minecraft thingy with sound this time. Now with sound. Um, these things grow literally based on the day-night cycle of the world. Check I haven't ruined lighting in here. Uh, in order to make these grow, now I was fairly sure that we used the watering can to make these grow when they were planted over there etc etc 
Maybe we didn't. Maybe things have changed. I do not know. But if you keep toggling, if you're in a creative mode, you can toggle between night and day over here. So if you just literally keep clicking the day button, these things grow really, really fast. Otherwise, they don't. <laughs> so um, what I was trying to do was not working at all uh, until I discovered that that's how you force those things to grow. Oh, that was a rigmarole. If you go and watch that, <laughs> just, just, why did I come over here for this? I'm not we can just make more of these, by the way. Uh, um, you'll see me messing around with the ender pearls, and I stand by my complete inability to get this working because I was trying everything to. Because what I was expecting to happen was that if I, um, if I tried to grow ender pearls like this, like I am doing then the plant cutter would just keep chopping them off. I need even more of these, wow. Wow. Um. That's one. Oh, that's wilderness. We also need, therefore, to make sure that this chunk, which is here, is claimed and chunk loaded. Oh, you're not chunk loaded. Over there. <laughs> everything should just chunk load everything. Why is this world not just permaloaded? Perma um, no, let's use this. No. Can we make glass from here? I taught you glass yet? No. Sand, please. The other thing we need to do is start producing things like sand. Um, we do have sort of a production of sand. It's just it's not going into... Is it going into the system? We should check that. Let's check that uh, very quickly once I've eaten some apples. Because... We should be able to um, export sand from the thing that is currently producing sand for our soul sand farm thingy. So if we are failing that, basically, give me sand. Uh, so I want to export this one. Basically, I'd want to export nothing. What? No. Yes, you. You don't want to be exported. You don't want to be export. Uh, we could start with cobblestone. You just generating cobble. Is that how this works? Um, sand. We will. I don't know where it's going to come from. Oh. Uh, you don't want to export. You probably be exporting you as well, right? I keep doing this. I'm not very good at this. Here we go. Uh, I will make up work. To, uh, no, we don't want up, do we? Like nothing should be up because, except for sand, obviously. But sand can also go... Since it's over here, you know, just sort of pull this elsewhere. Check our sand barrel. I believe we have a sand barrel. It shouldn't be a void barrel, because if this is a void barrel, then we're going to be infinitely producing sand and wasting energy and time and effort. Uh, so if we can... I just want this to be over there too. Export you into here. Hang on, hang on. We could probably just do this. Another side. Kind of okay. Uh, let's do. I'm not a fan of what I'm about to do. Forgive us. We know not what we do. Um, we can export the sand. So let's get this going. There's no fun either, to be fair. Uh, you do this. You pop this off. Weird. And then here. Here, put that there. Right, so that's bypass. I wanted to be able to access this, so I didn't want anything, a big panel basically, stuck on the front of this, because double click in the front of that, and everything goes in. Perfect. Um, however, you go away. I want my Ender IO and uh, conduits, I think should be enough. Um, I should be able to just export this way. Not you. South. Neither. North. Up. Insert. On green. Yeah, that'll probably do. I don't think we're going to end up accidentally sticking silicon into there. Uh, let's move you up one. Can you go up one? 
In that case, let's go through the wall here. This is where we want to go anyway. Uh, you can go... Up, and then down here. Go, and then here too, and then do do do, and do. Why? Give me this. I need to make a, a magnet ring or something like that so that I can hoover up items that end up in awkward places like this. So that should be sufficient. So you should be exporting. Sand. You are. And it's creating gravel. Great. So now we've got a supply of sand that we don't need to worry about anymore. Um, this is going to. Yeah, that's increasing nice and quickly, and it should stop when that's full. See, now I'm just getting to the point where it's like, well, why don't we just not have a wall here? <laughs> Ta-da! Now there's just a pillar. Great. Um, sand now produced. I knew we had a source of sand, and I don't know why I didn't hook it up ages ago. Probably because it's the first time I've needed it. And then what we're going to do is we have a way of... Um, by the way, I kept crashing the game with this, trying to shift click. You know when you do this and you press the button and then it puts things in there? Kept crashing it. No fun at all. So that's why there's weird gaps in that. Um, I, I was probably telling you about stuff that I was doing off camera. I can't remember what that was. So we'll talk about something else. Let's get a blank pattern. So I, I this is the pattern that crashed the pattern thingy because when I tried to teach how to make blank patterns, it, it didn't like it. So can we make 20? No, we haven't got any glass, ironically. We haven't got enough iron. We do not have enough glowstone. So this is, you can see our, our problem right now. This is the problem. We do not have enough stuff. Can we make blank pattern like two of them? Yes. Please do that. One, two, great. Uh, in processing mode, one piece of sand equals one piece of glass. Glass, blank glass, no, glass. Uh, you are going to be you, which is going to be you, and then we have this. Um, I had this on for a while, the or dictionary substitutions. That's because there was one thing that I was using that required the or dictionary. I think it was the pattern for creating the Inferium Essence. And the Inferium Essence, uh, sorry, the Prudentium Essence, as you recall, is made by um, turning. Inferium Essence and an Infusion Crystal, four, infu four Inferium Essence, one Infusion Crystal, one Prudentium Essence, and then I did Intermedium Essence as well. Uh, and we had a little look at that in the last episode to show how the multiplying by four very quickly starts to cost a lot. We can make Inferium Essence now, which is nice. Um, so we should do, what were we doing? We were making more Leadstone. So now we can make Glass, but Leadstone, but one of these, make more. Recipe, this, Pretty good. Why? Uh, making glass? No, glass appeared. I don't know. So now we can make glass at will, which is grand because that's been a bugbear for a few, I'm going to say days. It's just been occasionally a minor issue that we can't get glass dealt with. Because the system didn't want us to do it. And we don't let the system get us down. So now that's there. Now you're powered, so you should start digging soon. There we go. So you see how these are being picked but not plucked. So we don't have to replant these seeds, which is amazing. I, I was very, very prepared. I was going through so many different contraptions that would right-click on these and then collect the ender pills. But this just knows what to do. So let us figure out how to extract these. Now, over here we have this... Um, item dump, but it's going straight into here, not actually being exported into the ME system. What we really could do with is a way of, like if we had sort of a generic interface mm. here, the thing is, whatever you do, you either end up using channels on the ME system, or you end up using mm. lots and lots of conduits so that you only use one channel on the ME system. Either way, mm. it's a little bit costly in terms of resources. So, I don't think we have too much stuff over here. Also, check in your, um, down here. Checking your channels all the time is a bit of a pain. You have to come all the way over here. So this side is going all the way over there. And this looks like it has five of eight. We could always have another line running, but I don't want to do that. 
And you'll see me off camera as well playing with a, a new a new contraption for the ME system, which is something we might do in the future very soon, but I'm not going to do it right now. So we've got five of eight channels there. I don't want to use too many, so I will take an interface. I can craft these now, by the way. And it will let me. So that's going to take a while. Um, we can also bring some cable. Remember, if you pipe into an ME interface, it just absorbs everything that you give it. What we could do is just sort of put one here. How's your lighting? Yeah, it's not perfect. Can I have my torch, please? Uh, you can go here. And then, so if you have an ME interface, do you know what? Let's just put the interface right there. Then you can, can you export easily? Maybe not. We do have translocators. We could probably do that. Let's do that. Translocate. Yeah, we have four of them. Grand. Uh, how's my interface doing, by the way? Are we on it yet? Yeah. Oops. Interface. Interface. Ta-da! So let's do this, this, and this. And then... This will allow us to just very quickly get our enderpearls back into the system without really having to think too hard about it. Because what we want at this stage... Um, I will probably show you what I'm going to do in order to improve the network here and then do it all off camera because it can get a little bit tedious. Which is not what we're here for. So you can do this. Oop. This doesn't need to be sped up at all. This is going to be so slow. It's going to harvest a bunch of them, send them across there, and then we're going to have them all in our system, which is perfect. That's what we want. If we like here, we've got ender pearls for days. So now our ender pearls are finally automated. <laughs> it's been remember when we first got one and it was amazing. Oh, how things change. Uh, cool. So then the other thing I want to do in this episode, I mean, I'm covering a lot of things today because I did a lot of camera and I want to get things done, is when we're over here. Ooh, hello. Yes, this is good. Um, one thing I want to do is to figure out a really good way of... I'm, I'm gesticulating in real life. By the way, cup of tea. Sorry. Hmm. Thirsty. Um, I wanted to figure out a really good way of ensuring that we've got some success of getting, finally getting that um, drop from the wither skeletons, the, the drop of evil. And I, there is a way that we can actually do very easily because it, it only involves a mob imprisonment tool, which is a Pokeball, which requires a gas tier. Oh, you have to go and kill a gas until you drop them. No, we're not allowed in the nether. You just sieve soul sand until you're blue in the face and you get a mob imprisonment tool. With the mob imprisonment tool and the ability to turn skeletons into wither skeletons, shoulda, we can... capture a wither skeleton forever and ever. The question is, how do we get it over here? Come on, you pansy. This? Why are you not a wither skeleton? No. Well. Excuse me. Hello? Duplicate this. Look at a witch water. You did. No. You blew up all my things. I accidentally created a nitro creeper. And the Nitro Creeper has caused me much anguish. So uh, I think I will go away until some more enemies have spawned. And then we'll try again. So uh, back in a minute. You know what? While we're waiting for that, grab all of these. I'm just going to take apart this old smeltery. This will bring us in range of the, of the enemies, but that's okay. Uh, do we need to keep his... It does. That's, that's really good. I'm very pleased about that. Also... It's dark. <laughs> Don't appreciate the darkness here. Which is not something you'd ever hear me say. Everyone appreciates the darkness. Let's pick up all this. Uh, please make me some torches at once. I forgot we were making stone torches all the time, actually. Now I'm sad, because I'm not making them anymore. Let's uh, quickly pop over here. <laughs> Try and make some torches quickly before everything spawns. Torch. I might be close enough to get away with it. Because of course I use them all. 
when I am mining, etc. And then everything. Then it's a problem because I can't. Oh, block of lead. Uh, what if we did this? Come away. We don't need you here either. Here's an axe. It's quicker. But uh, and then this. Um, we can use cobblestone in here and then smooth stone on top. And oh no, I'm using that. Ah, oh, I should have broken that one. Whatever. It's water under the bridge or somewhere similar. Fluid duct here. Hardened servo here. Lever here. And it was going to create. Oh, they are spawning. Just spawn me a. Spawn me a skeleton. None of this is. Do you think it'll work on small skeletons? Uh, let's find out. Well, it pushed it into the. Flipping wall, which is a problem. Um, one with the, what I have been doing. Let's try this out. Shush, you're so loud. Um, it is a bow. There's loads of bows in here. All of them enchanted. Uh, enchanted? Enchanted with unbreaking. Which, no use to me. Um, really, but I can make use of all of these. Shoot the things that I want to go away. Because I, what I don't want to do is turn the item, the, the device on, and have everything, uh, ooh, that was scary. <laughs> have everything just immediately die, and therefore I can't actually grab the, with a skeleton that I'm trying to get to in the first place. I'm just going to shoot everything except with the skeleton. So it goes away. Dokey. Then we will break this. Hello, within the skeleton. There we go. And then we should be able to imprison you. Yoink! And then we have a wither skeleton. Perfect. Yeah, that was easier than I expected. And then the spiders can die over time. Put that there for now. Uh, we'll deal with that in a minute because we are making blocks of lead. Uh, recipe lead ingot. Recipe lead ingot. Done. Great. Everything here come with me. Including you and you. Perfect. Oh. Do, 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 And this. I'm going to leave that cobblestone on the ground for now. Pick it up. The good thing I have is this. Uh, can you do all of it? Don't need that. Need that. Don't need that. See how slowly it gets sucked in? That's another thing we need to improve. The reason that I haven't done that improvement uh, is I cost diamonds and I'm reluctant to spend my diamonds right now. And that's literally it. Boing. Go in here. So here's what I'm going to do. Um, in fact, we should probably go and get our destruction gadget. Nope. Oh. Well. Because if you do this, then there's a little bit of magic. Approximately the middle? Well, the first thing I can do is actually make a middle. Because <laughs> this is annoyingly off center. So if we go like this and then depth of. Well, I'm going to make this bigger basically. Left is going to be one, two, three. Not what I meant to do. Let's try this again. Four, four, three. Okay, uh, I think we can just put H. Yes. So if we do one more, then how deep are you going to be? No. And then uh, three in this direction. Wait, what? Four in that direction. Basically, we want it to be the same shape as everybody else, but that will make this side. I don't know if I want to get rid of this one or that one. Let's do 
Okay. Well, now you're wrong because left, right. Basically, that's not in the middle, but then no, we should have them the same. There we go. And then do that. Then <laughs> actually, let us do this and then odd number in both directions. And what does that look like? Kind of okay. Do that again. Do this and then down three, two, what does that look like? One. When are you changing? <laughs> that one, right, okay. And then more there. Big enough? Uh, we can delete that actually. Delete that. Yeah, that's good. And then that. No. Why did you go up one? That's weird. Oh. That. Uh, so kind of okay, but let's take the depth down by one. I'm just trying to sort of. <sighs> You're very annoying. And then. We could probably just sort of do sort of this sort of thing. So up one, down one, left one, right one, and then depth of whatever. Like that. Give me my torches back. <laughs> Very rude, how dare you? Um probably do the same here. Production gadget. That lump. That's most of it, right? That's the worst of it. Uh, give me this, and then I'm trying to make a big area. Working. Then we can fill it with the Tinker's machinery. I also want to fill it with torches because uh, this is no fun. Hey, actually lit. What? That is so lit. Sorry, I'm down with the kids, you know, and that's kind of an issue for me. You know, uh, it makes me feel vulnerable. That seems decent. Do you remember when that was all horrible and claustrophobic? Are you on or not on? I honestly don't know, which is fine with me. Because uh, if you can't tell, it means it's all fine. Let's make this better <laughs> for a start. Um, oh, it's on. Okay. Um, do 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 do, and then this do 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 do. Boof. Oof. Oof. Uh, torches, please. We should be able to make this look a lot nicer without having to put torches all over the place. That's the thing that I want to come to because I remember telling you a very long time ago. Ah, uh, do you know what? Let's go. Um, that I had a plan for how to make this look nice. Uh, the lighting looked nice based on a design that we made for. Very old base that we never finished making. Uh, you should check out the Enigmatica stream, by the way, because that's uh, that West Dirt chap, old friend of mine playing Minecraft, and we did some really cool stuff with bases, so I'm going to try and do something similar. Mm -hmm. Liquid, thank you. Uh, let me just check one, two, three, four, five, and four, five. Perfect. So you can sit there for you too long. But this isn't a nice symmetrical room full of things, unfortunately. That's okay. Now here's what we're going to do here. The first thing we should probably do is fix this hammer. Give me some um, obsidian, please. Give me some obsidian. See, this keeps happening. I don't understand it. Why can't I have my obsidian? Where is my obsidian? It's here. There's, it's probably to do with power, um, which is nothing we could fix because well, nothing down here is running. When these things start running, big problems start happening. As it is, there is no reason why I can't have my obsidian. Except it won't let me have my obsidian, so heck you. The only likeliness is that there's nine things here and I haven't noticed. So one of the things is offline, um, and it is this one. But of course, this is a storage bus, so we know full... Why are you being... Oh, this is a hammer. Uh, we, we know that it can see it, so it should be online, but I don't know. I really don't. 
Let's fix it. That's what we're doing. We're fixing it. Have you got any? We did that. <laughs> I remember. So we want to put this in here. This in here too. And then need more of these anchors. It's really annoying. Cool. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to do this sort of thing off camera eventually. Make a hole like this. I'm going to fill it with sheared stone. Seared stone. Sorry. Uh, and then surround it with sheared stone. Except. Now here's the question. First of all, how tall do we want it? I'm going to say too tall. And then. I don't know if mobs can spawn inside it. That would probably be unfair of them. If they tried to do that. Uh, we can make. Do you know what? We don't need this casting basin. And we probably should have kept what we had. Quite honestly. Because it was good. Uh, that then. This chest, this chest will represent what will eventually be uh, an import system into the ME uh, system. Import ME. That's going to go there. And then this is going to go here. Like this. And then we're going to have a Ningot cast like this. Then we're going to have a drain like this. And roller like this. And then a tank. Like this, and we're having a smeltery. It is go. It is good flipping stuff. Now, oh, that's not right. You're all telling me off, aren't you? You can see what I've done wrong. Yep. Uh, yep. Uh, yep. You can tell. Uh, give me my tank no, though. There you are. <laughs> Stop being wrong, brain. Go uh, here, if you don't very much mind. Test. And then a uh, hopper. And then this chest, hopper, casting table. In got cast. We need more of this. No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. Uh, and then this, and then do do do, and drain, and a controller, and the tank. Drain goes here. The controller goes here, and the tank goes here. Top. Bump, bump, bump. Right. So now we have a smeltery. This can accept eighteen pieces of ore. What if we had another one? And another one. And another one, and another one, and oh, there's so many possibilities. Yes, I'm going to build some more of those between now and the next episode. Uh, and but for now, I will continue this. But if we were to put this in here, and then make this always on, the reason the other one was on trigger is that I want to do things manually myself. That is no longer the case. And what I'm tempted to do is have a single ME interface that can just accept all the piping in. Because we're going to have one of the... <laughs> this is silly. We're going to have one of these for every single um, uh, type of ore that can be dealt with by the smeltery, plus maybe a couple more. And they're all going to have export buses on them to export that type of thing. I mean, we've already saved... Because this is what we were doing here, right? And, and this got boring real quick. Because that was just going to have another machine and another machine. How how not appropriate to this series would that have been? Now we're going to do this. And I know it's only going to be doubling the ores. And I know that we could quintuple the ores if we wanted to. Who cares? Who cares? Chill out. If I go mining, I'm going to make a whole bunch of ore and throw it into these things. Mm -hmm. And um, over here, when we do this and eventually start using these, which is actually up to 23. This is decent, okay? We've got some decent income, and this can go faster. Uh, this can make iron for us too, and all the other good stuff. So, let us finish off with explaining what we're going to do with the... Again, it's not, not happy with me. I feel like I'm overloading something. 
I have to figure this out off camera because who cares, man? Five of eight, three of eight, eight of eight. This is eight. This is only six. I don't know what's wrong with you, bro. Another thing. Zero of eight. I doesn't use any channels. Are you joking with me? Four of eight. What? Why did you say zero? Maybe that's why it's. Yeah, look. Keeps fluctuating on power. But you're all empty, aren't you? Yeah. Power is something we're going to come up to in very soon, a very nearby episode two. <laughs> because this is a bit of a problem. Uh, it's probably because I added the extra stuff over there in the greenhouse. So this has become a difficulty. So we can't store that. That's okay. We can't put all this stuff away, but we can just do this. This is why, okay? Because I'm bad at the game and this happens all the time. Let's put this pulverized iron in here. We'll deal with it later. The, right, so the next thing I wanted to do, apart from complain about power, let's just go and disconnect. See, the thing is, it's not just... It's the... it's the These cables as well that cause the issue. Each one of these takes a little bit of power itself. So this should be enough at least to start getting these things to remain online. Mm, maybe not. Um... We could continue to add things down there, but we'll do that later. What I wanted to do was to make a mob duplication tool. Mob duplication... This. Um, what do we get? Blaze powder. Have we got any blaze powder? Yes. Can I have it? No. Two blaze powder, please. One art, please. That's going to be enough. Uh, slime is going to be... Kicking around somewhere. This is a problem where blink neck is everything. You should not be in there. Slime. It's probably over in the greenhouse by now. No? Mob farm. Slime? No? Slime? Anybody? What was that? That was weird. Didn't like that. Uh, let me get the materials together. We'll come back and then we'll wrap up the episode in time to do this cool stuff in the next one so yeah give me a couple of minutes and this episode will not end in disaster i promise here we go mob duplicate war and then we're going to need a whole bunch of leadstone <laughs> where did i put that uh let's just make some glass probably going to start making it even more difficult for me to actually have stuff i'm going to just fill up with glass it's nice and quick though i appreciate that um We'll do this and some lead. Lead? I think there's going to be some redstone involved in this. I can't remember how leadstone works. I don't even think there is, actually. Leadstone. There isn't. There is lots of redstone. What are you talking about? Uh, let's eat. And then... Now I realise, actually, I'm a bit silly because already power here. Grand. Uh, make sure there's nothing in here. Oh, it's already on. Okay, fine. Well, there's not going to be anything in there. Break in. Bring my power in. That's going to be the difficult part. We do have those energy conduits, actually. Let's go and see if we can find them. They might be in the stacks. Where? I had a look at seeing if I could extend the range of... Basically, the way this works with these locks. And I discovered that it stopped here. It's actually a radius around the controller, not a maximum number of drawers. Um, which is actually pretty okay. Because it means that I could cram more drawers in if I really wanted to, without having to extend the thing. But you can have a subsidiary controller as well. I just didn't really do much with it. Um, let's put... I made all these, I don't actually need them now. Energy conduit, might not be enough of them. Three, four, five, six. Um, yeah, dirt is fine. Where are we? I always managed to... No! Why wouldn't you just build? <laughs> just build! Mean machine. 
Excuse me. The reason I can't build here. Seen this? There we go. Why can't I put a block here? Right, it's, <laughs> game is so buggy. I mean, what happens when you fill a game with a thousand different mods all trying to do different things and interact with one another without causing too many issues? Uh, I, I have the good. I have no idea why that's doing that, but this is all cobblestone, so let's just break it. Do, do, do. Uh, this one, please. And then do, and then you may output on the back. Orange, probably. Um, you are in cobblestone mode. Put this back. Oops. That's a vein mine, and then do closing thingy. Uh, I don't like it. Let me have this back. Here, put this. Oh. Right, that should be providing energy to this square here, which is like a duplicator on that. It is filling up with energy. I'm actually astounded. That's amazing. Show working area. It's going to try and spawn mobs here. I Hang on, how tall is a wither skeleton? <laughs> That's a good question. Um, also, do we need to make a quick getaway? Possibly. What we want here is for this redstone thingy. Oh, that's a good idea. Let's go back. Get the redstone one. Do this one. Fine. Uh, three might be enough. I, I don't really think about it. And we'll put this. Okay, this is uh, going to be orcs as heck. Especially since I don't know my Yetta wrench. Good grief. Very important. Very important indeed. Let's get the Yetta wrench. We're nearly finished. Don't worry. Oh. Boop, 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 boop. You please connect. There. Hooray. Sorry. Right click this. Also please connect to this. Uh, Please, saying please. How nice do you need me to be? Connect. You monster. Why? Why won't you connect? You. Hello? You're here. You're not connected. You're just being mean. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. Huh? We are not connected. I'm so confused. Why are you working? Input. On red. You are on red? Output on red. X output now. Right. That's working. I are you gonna continue to work? Yes. Click turn it back on again. Oh, scary. Um, right. Oh, and then you go here, and then you're connected, and then you go like this. If this wasn't so buggy, it'd be a lot easier. Right. You are not output. You are input on. Sure, brown. Why not? Uh, and then you are gonna output on brown as well. So we're gonna put this here. Fine. And then this, and then redstone one is gonna output on brown and then the only thing that you need now apart from the mob imprisonment tool and to be active on redstone signal to contain essence it does not produce essence this contains essence okay so we have essence we've been making it it's over here in this one so what we can do is we can take this channel as well. This is very complicated. <laughs> Could have done this in the next episode, but here we are. Um, now we can put this back. Back, and we want the fluid conduits. All of them, please. Because I don't want to run out. We will go back. And then let's take the fluid from here. Okay. We can probably just put a hole in the wall here. Hello. Put this here like this. Make sure this attaches. Go. 
So that I hope is. Oh, I just realised this particular type only fills up with one type, doesn't it? We can't just do what I've done here. Yeah, might have to fix that. That's okay. Um, I I think these things auto void, basically means that it's not a problem. Four, three, two, one. Yep, ran out. Game. <laughs> You're making this hard, harder than it needs to be. Uh, you lot go away. Move into. In now, and we'll make a fluid essence. Uh, ender fluid. fluid conduit. So this is what we want, is the ender fluid conduit allows multiple fluids to be transported on the same line. Uh, we should probably make some, but I I'm too lazy. We need this vibrant alloy in uh, fuse coils. These are the sort of things we could probably... Um, we could probably... Do I not have a load of that? Um, auto craft at some point in the future. Finder. I had some conduit binder somewhere. Might be in there. Do I have any? Binder. Two. I'll get you. One thing. So there's another thing I'm thinking of doing, which is basically putting a battery on our ME system so that if things start going wrong in the future, we at the very least can get things out of it without having to muck around. Like this. Why are you? I thought it was. Okay. Here we go, conduit binder. Conduit binder, you go away. And then ender fluid. Uh, any old glass, so just give me glass. Mm. This. Quite, it has to be quite clay glass. Okay, fine. Uh, quite clay glass. Clear glass. Not painted. Not painted. The alloy smelt glass. Probably do that down here. Alloy smelter. Alloy smelt. Oh come on! <laughs> Are you having a laugh, my son? Why is there only three in there? I'm sure I put six in there. Can I put six in there? Are you gonna do three? Oh no! Uses three at a time, doesn't it? Where is this? Oh, well, you ran out of power. <sighs> Supposed to be quick. Now it's a 40 minute episode. Boom. Right. Uh, fluid conduit. I only wanted one. At least I got 16 of them. That's nice. And then in the next episode, we'll fix the blinking AE system so it doesn't keep running out of power. How about that? Uh, right. You, you. Oop. Already got one, huh? You, you, right, are you getting square four? Well, what we can do, make you expect, now, tracks, always have to, so you can flood into there, you should be getting, sorry, no? Why are you not going up there? Oh, hello. There we go. Nope. <laughs> Don't do that. There we go. Ta-da. Right. Moment of truth. This is all going to be have been worth it, I promise. Put this lever that we kept from Tinker's stuff on this block. Turn it on. Boom. Why are you not doing anything? It, it may be as I feared, which is that basically we can't, um, can't. Because <laughs> because it hates me. Um, fine. Oh. This off. And turn this off. <laughs> oh, careful. That should stay on. Um, put this one left. I think it's entirely possible that weather skeletons are just too tall. Couldn't put them there. Which is that it was, it was, I think that it might have been trying to um, spawn them 
it could only spawn here, but they're three tall, I think. Still filling. Uh, down, output on brown. And you should be filling up with stuff, but you seem to have stopped. But... You're slowly filling up, that's okay. I think we lost all of the stuff that we had in there. Didn't keep it. Oh, why? Ah! Ha ha ha! Interesting. This is empty now. So, that's a problem. I guess here. I'll put one here for symmetry. And then we will close this, which should just be a door. Spawn now. I'm going to debug this off camera. Thank you for watching. <laughs> in the next episode, we should have Ender Wither Skeleton spawning themselves in here. It's possible that a, a Wither Skeleton needs a bit more than that. Oh. I don't know how much um, it needs in it in order to spawn. So I'll figure this out. Thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this extra long episode that I accidentally made too long. And uh, I guess we just keep going. I'm going to do some of the stuff off camera that I said I was going to do. And hopefully in the next episode, you'll be pleased with my progress. But until then, I'll see you.